In this video, you are going to learn that how you can make your website multilingual like this one uh, by adding uh, a switcher like this uh, to your website and how you can just translate your website into 80 plus languages. Like if I'll click on this button uh, here, from here, I can just translate this website into English, German, Hindi, Spanish, and Indonesian, etc. Like let's suppose I'll select Chinese and it will just tra translate the website into the Chinese. So here you can see the website has been translated into Chinese and uh, I'll select it again and if I'll just uh, get back to English it will get back to English and uh, this is not for just for WordPress but uh, if you have a Joomla website or any kind of PHP website you can also uh, just add this button and uh, or add all these um, the best thing is that you don't need any uh, time you will just be able to do all this translation stuff within four to five minutes because it's all automatic and it's server based so your website speed will not be affected at all after just adding this plugin to your wordpress website or adding that code to your php website so i think let's just do it so first of all what you have to do is you just have to go to a website linguist.com or just type in webifiedhub.com slash linguiz or you can just go to link in description so this is basically the website and here you can see the website loaded when i type that link so uh, here you can see uh, this website translate uh, your uh, um, this uh, tool will translate your website into uh, over 10 uh, 80 languages with uh, unlimited instant translation so this is instant translation and uh, this is their home page and uh, if we will see the integrations uh, you can see the integration options uh, like you can just integrate your wordpress website joomla website woocommerce javascript or PHP custom website, open cart, presto shop, and you can just integrate um, like you can just uh, add that multilingual option uh, to almost all kinds of websites. And then uh, there is a pricing thing that is most important so uh, here you can see you will get a 30 days free trial so you can just uh, uh, for one month you will get it for free so you can just try any of the version so here you can see uh, uh, the first version uh, the start uh, uh, the start package is $15 per month the pro package is 25 and the large package is 45 so the difference is just the number of words uh, translated uh, in large package unlimited words are there uh, but in pro version there are uh, 60 uh, uh, like uh, 600,000 words and with the start package these are 200,000 words if you have a small business websites then I think the start version is good for you you can go with it and uh, there is one website per plan okay so uh, to go with it what you have to do is you just have to click on translate now for free and here uh, you just have to um, like um, uh, add your credit card debit card details and you will be able to sign up like I have already signed in I have already got uh, like I have already a premium plan so I don't need it and here you can see I am on the plan and I have two websites right now so if you want to add a new website what you just have to do is you just have to click on add domain and here you just have to add domain which you want to translate in my uh, case uh, this is sorry um, this is basically the website blog video dot so this is the website so you can just add your own like let's suppose I want to translate Khadeen, uh, my website Khadeen akbar.com so I just want to translate this website I'll just select this website and then uh, here from here you just have to select the account so I'll have to select the account then default language what's the website default language it's English and then in which languages do you want to translate it I want it to be translated into Urdu into Arabic like you have all kinds of languages here uh, almost all languages that are spoken or that are written so you can just uh, select any language this is a native uh, this is a regional language so this is also available there so all kind of languages are available there then do you want to translate uh, 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 do you want to, uh, to translate um, in uh, all pages yes oh, uh, and uh, then uh, a character to use um, uh, to replace not authorized characters URL so you can just add uh, the characters here then uh, click on next step 
and um, here in next step uh, you will have to uh, you will be given uh, that API key the WordPress uh, the WordPress the Joomla the PHP script now uh, this is the API key if you have uh, some kind of softwares and you just want to add API key you can use that then you have this WordPress you just have to click on this one uh, to go to that WordPress plugin you can just download that WordPress plugin and we'll be downloading it from uh, the WordPress repository from the website repository and uh, you can just uh, apply this API key then you have this Joomla's API key and then you have this PHP script uh, you have the complete tutorial here just click on there and here you have complete tutorial that how to configure your um, language in your PHP website you can just uh, configure uh, language in uh, the, uh, like that website and also you just can click on support if you need any kind of support then after that what I'll do is I'll just get, get, go back to the home page and here I have three domains here you can see uh, you don't need any credit card debit card to just uh, sign up for tra free trial so here you can see uh, there are two uh, uh, domains added uh, with free trial and this is active with unlimited plan so here you can see this is the website so I'll just click on manage uh, subscription and uh, this is just for basically for this website and uh, what I'll do is I am on the unlimited plan now what we have to do is first of all we just have to go to our website and here you can see we don't have any um, like uh, option here to switch the languages because I just disabled that plugin now what you have to do is you just have to go to your website dashboard admin dashboard then just go to plugins click on add new and uh, here from add new you just have to search for language and I'll uh, search for language so here is the language uh, automatic tra mul trans uh, automatic multilingual translation so you just have to install it I have already installed it so you just have to activate it just click on activate and it would be activated so here you go the uh, plugin got activated and now after activating it you just have to go to this language option if you couldn't see it this option just reload your website and this will be visible to you so just click on this language and after clicking on this one here uh, you have uh, this option so what you have to do is you just have to go to your dashboard back to your dashboard and just go to home and after that just go to your website and from here you just have to go to settings and from here you just have to copy this API key and uh, go there and paste this API key here and click on apply and here you go it got saved then after activating it first of all you just have to select your website original language so my website original language is English and uh, then uh, in which languages do you want to translate so I'll just clear all these languages first of all and first of all we'll select English then I'll select Arabic Urdu Pashto and I'll select French and uh, Japanese so these are the language I want my website to be translated okay and uh, then uh, you can just enable this switcher automatically so it says the flag switcher will be added automatically in the front page of your website so you can just also enable this and uh, then uh, uh, language list display so you want to uh, display it in pop-up drop-down or side by side so you can also select any one of them like right now uh, let's just save these settings first of all and let's see how it looks right now so I'll just go to visit my website and here you can see when I'll click on it uh, here you can see a pop-up appears here but uh, when I'll select uh, this option this drop-down option and I'll just save it then uh, like a new version will be shown so I'll just again reload it and here you can see now the drop down is showing so these are the settings you can play around with then uh, language names display um, uh, it should display in English or it should be uh, in native language you can also select then uh, the flag type 
uh, it should be Great Britain flag or USA flag for English for Spanish it should be Mexico uh, Peruvian or Spanish then flag border and then some uh, flag box shadows these are some styling options if you want to select the round flag or rectangular flag and there are a lot other options you can explore so these are all the styling options then you have advanced options from here you can just use the cache as well uh, and then maximum cache then a browser language redirect if you want to do the browser language redirect you can also do it so what it would do is uh, what the default language of browser is it would redirect a user to that uh, uh, language then uh, translate uh, enable search translation as well and so uh, users will be able to translate their searches as well then uh, pretext in pop-up okay so when you click on this one uh, there was a pretext when the pop-up was displayed like uh, and, and uh, you, if you want to change that pretext then pretext in uh, language pop-up uh, you can also change that pretext and then that uh, enable uh, debug um, if you want to enable the debug mode or debug mode you can also enable it and just save these changes so these are all the settings on this plugin and you can also reach out to their help support if you want and these are all the settings on uh, the plugin side now let's just come back to this one uh, this uh, um, like uh, the uh, linguist dashboard so here first of all we have this rule section here we can add different rules uh, like uh, 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 right solutions will be uh, ignored as a URL here we can in, uh, uh, add, a, uh, add a rule here we can add the title rule title then uh, rule type uh, it should be text ignore text replace text exclusion or exclusion by URL so you can use these rules then you have all the options CSS selectors uh, exclude URLs if you want to use these these are basically some uh, like uh, advanced uh, options uh, uh, most of the user will not want but if if you want to uh, select some URL as a not to be replaced uh, text not to be replaced like if you want to replace uh, if you don't want a text to be replaced like uh, your company name you want don't want to be it to be translated so you can just add it here so it will not be translated then you have this translation option so you can just select the translation options here you can uh, uh, select these translations and then you have uh, these settings and from here you can just do some settings and you can just select the languages and all that and then you have this live editor with live editor you can just edit it manually like I'll just open the live editor and show you live how it works so uh, first of all I'll just select which language I want to translate and uh, I want to translate like suppose like let's go back and first of all go to settings and from here let's just select Urdu as well and I'll just add Urdu and uh, I'll just save settings and then I'll just open the live editor now from here you just have to select a language I'll select Urdu and I'll just click on translate and uh, now here you can see um, uh, here are all the text so if you want to edit something if you want to give your own personal touch like you think uh, something is not uh, um, like uh, uh, translated accurately so what you can do is you can just uh, uh, translate it in your way so I'll just click on any text and here you can see the original text original translation and then the translation uh, so uh, this is the uh, translation this is the original translation and this is the text so if you want to edit any translations if you want to remove any spaces dashes or if you want to remove any text you can just do it and you can just save it so it would be done automatic uh, uh, so it would be done like uh, manually and uh, this is your editor mode you can just play around with your website translations using this editor mode and I think this is an amazing plugin you should also use it in your website and by the way it is one month for free so I would recommend you to use it for free one month and test check if it works for you or not if it works for you then you can just go with the pro plan uh, the paid plan so that was all about the video uh, I hope you like the video if you like the video uh, let me know in comments and also like the video uh, hit the like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel if you are new and that was all about the video see you next video till then stay safe take care goodbye assalamualaikum